For Facebook users, the word metaverse might not seem that alien, but there are still a lot of people who have literally no idea what it is and what the hype on the metaverse is all about. So what is the metaverse? How is this connected to cryptocurrency? And why is this popular all of a sudden, out of nowhere? Now guys, don't you worry because we are here to answer all your questions and more about the metaverse in a beginner's level. Something that even a total newbie would understand. Also, stick with us until the end of this video because we will be showing you how you can make money in the metaverse. So stay tuned and I promise you, you wouldn't want to miss this. Welcome to the Crypto Kings YouTube channel. On this channel, our team works tirelessly to be your one-stop shop for crypto. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because you're not gonna want to miss any of the great content we have planned for you. Also, if this video is helpful to you at all, please like this video and leave a comment with what type of video you'd love to see next. Alright, now let's dive into today's video. The first question for someone who is new to cryptocurrency is, what is metaverse? Guys, we will explain this in the simplest manner that even a newbie would understand. But if you want a video where we can dive deeper about the metaverse, go ahead and tell us in the comments section down below. We might just do another video that would cater to that. Anyway, going back to the question, metaverse is simply the 3D virtual reality of our physical world. In the metaverse, people interact with each other, own a house, eat out in restaurants, shop at malls, and drive cars, among others. The metaverse is simply the digital form of our physical world. Anything we do in the physical world, we can do in the metaverse. Being in the metaverse is like living two lives, the physical and digital life. This may sound completely impossible for those who are not familiar with the metaverse, but it's actually happening as we speak. People in the digital world actually own land, houses, and cars. And just like in the physical world where, for example, you want to buy a piece of land, where the worth would be higher depending on the location, the same thing applies to the metaverse, where prices would vary according to where you're located in the metaverse. Now you may ask, how is cryptocurrency valuable in the metaverse? Well, just like in the physical world we live in, the metaverse also has a marketplace, where people would buy goods and services, play games and gamble, and do all sorts of business. People will need money to do these transactions. If in the physical world we use fiat money, like in the US dollar, in the metaverse, cryptocurrency is used for these things. Now for our viewers today who still haven't fully grasped the whole concept of cryptocurrency, we encourage you to check out our other videos in the past explaining what cryptocurrency is, what blockchain and NFT is, and how they go all hand in hand in the metaverse. The next question most people ask is, how is NFT and the metaverse related? Well, NFTs or non-fungible tokens are what we call the items in the digital world that are sold or purchased in an open market. These digital items are owned by individuals in the metaverse, without any governing body that controls it. So when people purchase them, the transaction is purely from person to person, or the seller to buyer directly. Now let's take a look at this example to better explain what an NFT is. This website is called OpenSea.io, and it features a collection of digital art that people can sell or purchase. Now you get to purchase digital art, that property is basically yours. No other person can purchase that anymore or take property of what you've already bought. And this doesn't only apply in OpenSea, but in the whole metaverse. It's the same thing when you buy a house in the metaverse, you get to own that house and no other person can own that. The same goes with you, you cannot buy a house that someone already owns. This is true both in the physical and digital world. Now this is what you call an NFT or a non-fungible token. Only one person can own a certain items, and all these items have their own unique characteristics. Once you buy that item, it is considered your property. Now this is how the metaverse and NFTs are related. This also leads us to the question of, how are NFTs, gaming, and the metaverse connected with each other? So there's this video game called D Race, where it's like physical horse racing but in the metaverse. In this game, you can own horses, you can breed the horses, you can race the horses to race, and even gamble on the horse race. Now this is how the metaverse works with gaming and NFT. 
Now because these gaming horses are NFTs, no one else can take property of the gaming horses that you have bought. Guys, there are literally thousands of games where you can check out and buy NFTs, so go ahead and explore them. In conclusion, we can say that the metaverse is the future of the internet. This is something that inevitably can happen in full blast soon. There will be two worlds where people can live in. The physical world and the digital world. And that is the metaverse. In this metaverse, we use cryptocurrency to make all kinds of transactions. When we buy or purchase something in the metaverse, we make use of cryptocurrency instead of fiat money like the US dollar. Now if we want to make money, let's say by betting on a racing horse, we can also do that in the metaverse because we can buy NFT gaming horses and race them to race. This is actually how some people make money in the metaverse. And there are also thousands of games people can choose from to earn some money. All you have to do is check them out, check out their websites for updates, and choose which one fits you best. And my friends, that is it for today's video. If you learned something from this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the Crypto Kings and don't forget to ring that notification bell. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, or ideas for next video, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who support our channel, and we will see you again real soon in our next video.